You would have heard about dangerous species before, but did you ever think about an animal that led to massive agricultural decline in America? Yes, it's none other than wild boars who have been deteriorating American agricultural land for years, creating havoc for the farmers. Let's ponder over how Americans are dealing with these lethal creatures to protect their land. Although wild boars are significantly declining across the world and animal welfare organizations are burning the midnight oil to prevent their extinction, but the scenario is completely different in America. Farmers are killing wild boars and finding ways to protect their land. The most common and effective method to deal with wild boars in the present era is trapping. Various types of animal traps are inserted in agricultural land to catch wild boars. This depends on the farmer's budget and the size of the land. Moreover, some of the farmers decide on the basis of how frequently wild boars visit their land. While inserting a trap, farmers have to consider numerous things. The most significant of these is the location of the trap and that it should be in a shady area to attract maximum boars. Farmers fill their traps with natural food, including wheat, corn, and other food items liked by boars. Once pigs enter the trap, farmers use the control button and the pigs are no longer free. They try their level best to escape the trap, but all in vain. Farmers are modifying their traps over the passage of time based on their requirements. These include the application of sensors and surveillance cameras. All these techniques are used to make the process more efficient and easy. In addition to trapping techniques, farmers plan hunting trips to cope with pigs. They equip them with appropriate ammunition including short guns and safety equipment. Farmers have to get a license to kill these wild creatures. However, in Texas, farmers have been given this right by the government to kill wild boars if they destroy their land. This is a defense mechanism and farmers use it efficiently to prevent huge losses. Farmers take proper training to deal with wild boars and keep hunter dogs with them to ensure safety. These hunter dogs can kill a wild boar in minutes, making the hunting process successful. You would have been wondering why wild boars have not been extinct in the United States despite their frequent killing. Well, that's primarily because of their rapid reproduction. Wild boars consume any type of crop in the field they like to eat every crop, and there is no specification of food they like. Not only wheat, corn, and soybeans. Farmers have experienced significant damage to their vegetables as well. Wild boars target huge land area and are not specified to one particular place. Farmers have observed these boars to be extremely fast in destroying crops. Moreover, the invaders kill farm animals too. Once they invade a farmland, it's destruction from everywhere. From killing farm animals to causing pathogenicity in the farmland and destroying livestock. These boars are nothing less than a nightmare for farmers. American economy has suffered a lot due to these boars causing a loss of millions of dollars. Federal agencies and private landowners are genuinely concerned about these boars and the lethal impact on agricultural revenue they can cause in the future. Pig is a favorite food in numerous populations, significantly in China. You'll see a roasted pig in almost every Chinese household, loved by both elders and younger kids. 
Chinese farmers breed pigs and sell them to restaurants across the country. Let's explore how Chinese farmers raise pigs. Farmers maintain a protective ecological environment while raising pigs. The motive is to raise healthy pigs in order to produce quality meat for people to eat. Farmers choose mountainous areas to raise pigs and ensure no pollution within the vicinity of the land. Farmers take special care of their nutrition and feed them with sweet potatoes, wheat, corn, and other items that can add nutritious value to their lives. After all, these pigs are going to be a part of our gastrointestinal system, so they must be nutritious. There is a slight difference in the diet of white and black pigs. Black pigs like to eat grains. Whole grain is a natural diet and farmers ensure not to add any sort of additives to the diet in order to ensure a natural diet. This is the reason why black pigs have a good growth cycle. China's rural areas are considered as pig places. Thousands of wild pigs roam around in the forest and enjoy the natural habitat. Pig has a great cultural value associated with it too. Chinese people consider it as a symbol of good luck in the new year. Black pork is better in quality and the protein content in it is greater than other pig breeds. Moreover, it has a marvelous fragrance due to its high fat and water content. The increased amount of water in the black port makes it softer and easier to cook. This is the fundamental reason why black pork is expensive compared to other breeds. The high rate of black pork hasn't stopped people from eating it and millions of tons of black pork are consumed every year. Once black pigs are raised for 12 to 14 months, they are brought to the factory. Specialized trucks are specified for transport purposes to make sure they reach the factory outlet in a protective environment. While transporting them, each pig is kept at a suitable distance from the other to limit stress. In processing plants, Hundreds of workers are specified to slaughter the animals and separate their internal organs. Different parts of their body are separated. Each processing plant has the capacity to slaughter and package hundreds of tons of pork. Chinese people like to eat organically raised pork, so processed facilities usually buy naturally raised farm animals. If you are in China or planning to visit in near future, black pork should be your next food choice. In addition to the natural pig raising environment, hundreds of factory farms have been established in the United States as well. 97% of pigs grow in these factory farms and are unable to enjoy the natural pastures. They are kept on drugs that are harmful to the lives of pigs as well as the consumers. The cowboy pig breed is the most expensive and premium breed in the world. The meat of this breed is highly nutritious, and those who once ate it become a fan. You would have been thinking why? Well, it's because of the raising techniques that include music listening, massage, and quality diet. Farmers refrain from the diet that might cause obesity or health problems in pigs. Farmers try their best to provide them healthy environment and take special care of their entertainment. This is the reason why most of factory farms have swimming pools as pigs love to swim. This is their coping mechanism and a relaxation technique.